Well, welcome back, Wolfpack. Verlus here, and today we're going to be completing the Pokedex in Pokemon Quest. So let's see how much progress I've made so far just by, like, naturally playing and maybe evolving some Pokemon because there's just shameful, shameful things that I am so impatient when it comes to training my Pokemon for, like, the move training or the leveling up that I don't even evolve Pokemon once I get them. Like, there, there's no excuse to just have the start of an evolutionary line and then nothing, especially when you're in the late game and you're just making gold cooking pots nonstop. All I had to do was give this Charmander, like, two level 80 different species, different type Pokemon, and it would have evolved enough and we'd be good to go. But nope. That's the, that's the same with this Caterpie. Even the daily Pokemon that just, like, randomly show up at your place. Oh, uh, yeah, you could easily fill that in. So we got the Ekans right here. Um... I'm, I don't even have Pikachu, guys. I haven't even gotten Pikachu in this game. I got an Ekans, so there's a lot of holes. 116 out of 151 isn't bad, but, I mean, Clefairy's actually a pretty tricky Pokemon to get. I think that's... We're, we're gonna find this out, but I think it's, like, Gray special, so that's something. My Nidoran never became a Nidoking. But you can see there's some times where I tried. Like, oh, I got a Vulpix to Ninetales. I got Jigglypuff to Wigglytuff, because I was like, you know what? I'm probably gonna regret not evolving all the Pokemon I have opportunities to get. I've gotten, like, so many Venonats from trying to go for Bulbasaur and, um... Wimpin' Bell for, like, the Vine Whip video that I made. So, I guess we're just going to kind of, like, go through this, compare it with PokeQuest recipes, and then get everything that we need to go. So, the first one is going to be Fire. Now, I noticed that we need a Growlithe. And I think we got a Magmar at some point. So, I guess we just make some Charmander. Fortunately, that's not too difficult. We just do two Big Roots and then three Ball Mushrooms. And maybe to save rest... It's kind of another, like, tricky thing because, in theory... The ultimate late game plan for me in this game is to have a level 100 living dex. Every single Pokemon level 100 because why not? The, the, we can do it. And I'm kind of down on big roots though from everything I did. So what was that? Two big roots and then three bomb mushrooms. That's going to make us the fire. Yeah, so I can make a couple of those because it's not a guarantee we get Charmander. Like Magmar can come up and spoil the whole thing. But with the silver cooking pot, it's going to be good level. And then it's still going to be fairly useful. I mean, even a bronze. Like, the, the crazy thing about how the bronze... Or not the bronze. Just how the cooking pots, like, scale with level. It's like, oh, you pretty much have just a full evolved Pokemon. Or Pokemon's ready to become fully evolved at, like, right at your fingertips. So that's cool. Also, has a weird voice squeak. Because I uh, tried to figure out what to say right there. So let's do this. Uh, two. Hopefully we don't get, like, double Magmar trolled. And that should be fine. Now, the next one to look up is going to be the Caterpie. So I'm not going for Living Dex right now, which means I don't need, like, three Charmander to get to level 100 Charizard. That's going to be, like, a multi-day stream of me just, like, overly dedicating to the game. So, I'm guessing... Hmm. That bug recipe doesn't show me a Caterpie. Blue Soda. Really? Maybe that's why I... Why is Caterpie not in the bug recipe? So they're just going to be the normal blue soda. All right, I got to make I gotta make a couple of those to be safe. Because, yeah, those odds, those odds are not in my favor. And I guess... Like, again, I want to use the gold cooking pot because that's level fodder for la later. That means I can get a really quick Pokemon up high. But that's also going to take a lot of resources to train the Caterpie once I get it there. But we can just go make some blue sodas just like that. And depending on, like... If I really just want to get this video out of the way, in a way, I could I could do a couple of other things just to help speed it up. But yep, there there goes all my resources just to try to like get all the Pokemon in the position I want, set up for living decks, but also complete the Pokedex. So that's gonna take seven-ish turns. Like fortunately, when we're done with these four, which I can just kind of get out of the way right now. So in theory, if you've played this game for a lot, man, I I love saying that when it comes to this game. This game is all about in theory, if blank happens, then you can blank. But um, I'm still having a pretty pretty good time right now. And if I had, say, 2,000 PM tickets, i just speed up all this cooking and get the video done super quick. But we're going to be doing this for a while, then we'll check on the results. All right, so the first blue soda is actually kind of in our favor because, hey, we got nailed Nidoran. That's one of the Pokemon that we need. So fortunately, there's a lot of crossover. I think we can also get... I thought we got Zubat from this, but apparently we don't. So I don't need anything else, because, like, farming up Staryu has given me all of the water-type evolutionary lines. And even just farming Staryu, I have, like, all the water evolutionary lines for the normal rarity up to level 100. So that, that part of Living Dex is complete. However, it seems... We, we don't have the Caterpie yet, so let's let's hope and see how this goes. If this doesn't work out, then yeah, I can, I can afford losing 20 PM tickets from time to time to try to speed things up. Except I kind of don't need to right here. 
So maybe if I do the silver cooking pot, that way it's only three turns, and then I can kind of line up the timing with the uh, these cooking, and then maybe do single ones from there. So depending on like how complex the recipe, like I think for basic ones, we could just speed it up if we're not cooking anything else. And then doing something like this means we should be pretty good. So we're using a lot of block. Like it's it's really unfortunate. I should not, I should have done this. I should have tried to do the uh, Pokedex completion video before going for Vine Whip and all these other like crazy team builds and wacky resource investments. But what can you do? So there we go. And like completing the Pokedex isn't hard. Once you, once you have this, you go, which Pokemon do I need? Come on, there we go. Yeah, I was like, done. GG, I think I got a Marowak at some point, and I have a shiny Kabutops. So, like, I've completed the decks in a lot of weird ways. It's just the stupid, easy Pokemon that I never invested into that are kind of hurting me right now. Um, we got enough PM tickets to do a lot of battery charges, so I'm not really too worried. And that's kind of where we're at right now. So, yep, reset, and I'll see you guys in a bit. And no Caterpie from that. Okay, so I guess this is where we just do our yellow strats. Oh, boy. And then... Um, bronze still takes two turns, right, on just a normal recipe, so we do this, and then we yellow our PM tickets away. Like, it's it's kind of silly, because it costs 25 PM tickets to do four times nine, or 20 PM tickets just do one. Like, they need to nerf that in some way, maybe make it five each instead of ten for, for the remaining turns, because, like, you can't buy PM tickets. Or at least you can, but only up until a point. We did get our Caterpie, so I guess that was worth. But I mean, yeah, like maybe if you could buy raw PM tickets, I would justify that for like the money hungriness of the game. This game isn't money hungry. You spend $48 and then you can't spend any more and then you're just done like that. All right, let's check the fire recipe now. Ah, uh, the hot pot. I think the hot pot's cool. It's just like this this is dish that just gets fire Pokemon to appear. That's pretty neat. We get the Magmar. I don't think Magmar was in our decks yet. So yeah, added to the Pokedex. Okay, so we did need at least one Magmar. That was actually the one I'm more worried. I should have been more worried about than ju this, just the Charmander. But we could get screwed over right here by getting like back to back one in five percent chance because this game is an RNG. Dang it! All right, since we're doing a longer batch of like special recipes, I guess we can maybe focus on that because it's, it's just not worth spending fifty for a chance to roll Charmander. Maybe to add insult to injury, we can see how many I've befriended. Six, and none of those became a Charizard. Go me. Now the Ekans, all right, I've only gotten one. Still unforgivable at, at any rate, but uh, what is the Ekans gonna be from? Sludge, oh, very good Sludge Soup, really? Okay, well that helps us with the Golbat, the Venonat, and the Ekans. So I guess the rest of these should be that. I think I have a Grimer, so I can turn that into a Muck whenever I want. Oh, we're, that means we need to go three for three on like one in five odds. Ugh, this is not, this is not going to be ideal. And then very good is going to be three ball mushrooms, a mushroom, and an apricorn. So praise be RNG. And now it boils down to if I actually have enough resources to do all the cooking. Because now I'm running out of precious ingredients. After having almost full stacks of all the precious ingredients, now it's running out or running low. Um, and then another thing... I've seen a couple of people commenting this, and from my own experience, it seems like this is correct, but 5, or not 5, 8, 12, 8 seems to be the best place to get resources, because one, you clear it out really quick, and there's just a lot of Pokemon. I think I got like 140 ingredients in one run here, so technically, 140 times 6 is going to give me like over 800 ingredients worth of stuff, that's if I'm not like maxing out or whatever, but yeah, that first wave was 34. So, depending on, like, RNG and stuff like that, this is really good for giving you a lot of ingredients. And if I just need to kind of stock up, I can do that. Somehow, those Dodrios just absolutely mauled me. So, I guess we just give up and lose. Huh. Yeah, like, I'm not running a durable team, you know? The Starmie are about as hit point max as possible. Not running the Mewtwo. We have the uh, Machop instead. So, not the best farming team. It's mostly just, like, an RNG speedrun team. But, I mean, we can beat this level in a minute nine maybe get like a really clutch like minute run so one minute to get all that not really too long but just kind of like how fast i want to do this so yeah i can i can run it down get a couple of extra resources here to there and then maybe we can just get the pokemon we're looking for please charmander please charmander yay oh man that was um that was the thing that happened cool so now we have to go for like crazy sludge soup rng and it is a very good recipe so if we, if we whiff this, we're going to kind of be stuck. And I made other ones being silver because we're just waiting here for six turns regardless. So we need Venonat. Or the Zubat. Golbat is still a Pokemon we need. So we got one. What about the Ekans? Ooh. Look at all that offense on the Zubat. My goodness. That should be very easy, very quick to level up right there. Um, I'm just like, I hope I have enough Pokemon for this. 
And if I need to... Oh, no, the double Zubat troll. Why? Oh, no, now we're just going to get flooded by... Z oh! <sighs> Can't even be mad. Can't even be mad. All right. Well, I guess that's the one we're saving. Got to rename him something outrageous, so I maybe catch that. Oh, we get the Ekans, though. So that leaves us with a Venonat. Venonat is... Poss like, Venonat we might get in another recipe. Or do I have a spare Venonat that I just kind of overlooked when I was going through all my Pokemon? So yeah, like, we're, we're building it up. We're getting close right now. Was not... Like, okay, I guess I just have to record videos, because... I don't get these shiny Pokemon when I'm just, like, randomly grinding off camera. Yeah, I've gotten so many Venonat, and yet not even one Venomoth. That is so upsetting. And what I was thinking... Oh, that's what ha... Oh, no. That's what happened to my Grimer. It's level 100. So that means I do need a Grimer, I think. Oh, so we need to make a couple more of these Sludge Soups. And was the Grimer from this one? So, yeah, now we just need Grimer and Venonat. Venonat's fairly low odds. Very good recipe for that poison. So that means it what special venom? How did I get so many venom? Oh, I was, I was trying to say how many get? How did I get so many venom? That was from colored recipes where I was getting a lot of the venom at. I think we have Scyther and Pinsir. If not, then the honey, the nectar, is what we're going to be targeting. Okay. Okay. This is this is a little tricky. This is definitely a little tricky. So what I was going to say is also, say like I get a Golbat. Well, Golbat's a bad example now because I have the Shiny. But I can use that Pokemon to maybe try to level up another Pokemon to get it to evolve if I'm really that desperate later on. And fortunately, we did some high-level Magmar recipes. So that's what I mean. Like, if we need this Charmander to evolve, we just use the Magmars on it. I'm going to get all the base Pokemon, then evolve them later. So let's get in that next batch of cooking. Okay, so I did a pr bit of pre-planning. And I'm kind of hoping that it pays off as well. Just kind of like knowing the Pokemon I need and what I'm going for. So now I made some of the Gray Porridge. Gray Porridge, I need a Geodude. I farmed so many Rhyhorn. And good thing we got the Geodude. And that I never got Golem or Graveler. I, again, inexcusable. I had a shiny Geodude. And I rerolled it for trading instead of actually like getting it to a shiny Golem. Because I was not paying attention. And then the other one we need is Oddish. So I made multiple of the Greys for the Oddish. And if we do get that Oddish... Dang. I, I was about to say, that would have made life a lot easier, because then we could go for the red. So, fortunately, Growlithe, Growlithe is a 50% chance. And everything kind of lines up and stacks together, because these are going to be the very good poison recipes. We're still farming for the poison-type Pokemon that we're looking for. So, that means we can make silver and then kind of stack it together. So, in three more, we'll be able to check all the other ones. So, that's good right there. We'll make one gray, and then we'll make one of the fire recipes, which is going to be... Three reds, a blue, and a gray. Sounds good. And then, as, as long as we don't get, like, 50-50 screwed, it'll be okay. I hope you guys are enjoying this video as well. Because, like, it's... The, my content style for making Pokemon Quest videos, because this game is... It, it, it is how it looks. It's a crazy mess of fun and joy and excitement, but also, it's really hard to do things straightforward in this game. So, my, my idea is, like, I'm kind of turning guides into hands-on learning experiences with my knowledge to kind of convey it and then hoping that the game plays properly you know like i could get bad rng i it just i have to i'm using live gameplay to kind of get my thoughts across to show you what i've learned and uh, like a hands-on application hopefully you guys are enjoying the way that i'm doing the style and especially for this video because this video is me like i'm gonna make this recipe cut five seconds later i'm gonna make this recipe cut five seconds later um it might work, and also, this is just like a, there's no information to be had in this video. This is just you watching me struggle, find shiny Pokemon, get cursed on the double Magmar, and just some other random stuff that could go wrong. So if you just want like a 40 minute, I don't even know how long this video is going to be, because it's already taking a lot longer than I was expecting. So if you just want a 40 minute video of Pokemon where not necessarily anything happens in a let's play kind of style, then this is the video for you. So I'm trying to like bring the best of like guides, let's play discovery of this game and see if it works. And apparently it works. You know, a lot of my Pokemon Quest videos have been killing it and there hasn't really been a lot of negativity around it. You know, not a lot of uh, complaints. So I guess I'm doing it right. I just don't have much else to talk about. Yay, there's a Venonat. So that leaves us with the Grimer, I believe. I need to look at the Poison one to kind of refresh my memory. So yeah, we got all that. So if we get the Grimer on this next one, 
That'd be pretty awesome. What else does Grimer come from, though? Where are you? Grimer is going to be Sludge Soup. Or, oh, it's also going to be good quality something. Blue Soda. So, yeah, it's going to get buried in that. It's very good Blue Soda. If we need a very good Blue Soda for something, maybe, which is also why, like, looking ahead kind of helps out. We got the Venonat. Uh, the, Gr the Growlithe is another one. It's like a 50-50. It's a literal coin flip. Do I have a coin on my desk? Dang. If I had a coin on my desk, I'd be like, all right, heads, and then we get the back-to-back -back Venonat. Great. Heads, Growlithe, Tails, Vulpix. Yay. Uh, get out of the way, Articuno. I can't see my new Pokemon that I don't want. Now it's time for Growlithe. Uh, okay, never mind. I did. I, I thought I did it the other way around, but Grey Forge, give me Oddish. Perfect. Okay, so sometimes things go correctly. Sometimes we get what we want. And if we don't get the Growlithe, that's going to be one that's worth burning the 20 p.m. tickets, I feel. Because we do have that excess. We, we do have the opportunity to like reroll for a few extra Pokemon, and I don't think it's worth just, like, having something lame chill in there. Awesome, we get Growlithe as well. Cool. So now we can check our Pokedex and try to figure out where we stand, because we're doing pretty well. I don't know what level evolves, though, so that's going to take a little bit of extra time, but I think everything else is looking good. So, Pokedex, and this also makes me realize that the, the living dex is going to be a nightmare. Oh, I didn't mean to hit the back button. It, it feels like we're not making that much progress. Because a lot of it is evolved po Like, you see, we need to evolve the Pokemon we already have. Pikachu. We need to go for the Pikachu. That's not too difficult. We have everything... Oh, the Clefairy, though. Uh, Paris, we have one. We have the Venonat. We have the Growlithe. We have Geodude. I never evolved a freaking Ponyta? Okay, I think I've only gotten... How many Ponytas have I gotten? Seven. Yeah, no excuse. I've only gotten one Magnemite. So that's justified. I think I might have that Magnemite. Doduo. Oh my god. What what was I thinking? What was I thinking? We still need our Grimer. Okay, we got Cloyster. Voltorb. Execute. We have an Execute. Cubone. Oh man, this is... I hate my life, guys. I hate everything about this. I'm just going to do this off camera, because like this, this is going to take way too long. Uh, we need Jol Vaporeon, Flareon. So I need to get Eevees. I, did, I thought I got an Aerodactyl at some point, but I guess I didn't. So we need to make the very good, or the special rock recipes. We need to go get these bad boys. So yeah, I am missing a Scyther. Ah, uh, wow. This is all miserable. This is all very miserable. Huh. Well, there's one thing that might bail us out. So the very good clay or gray porridge is how we get the Clefairy. Uh, clutch in that. So we could get Clefairy, we can also get Seal this way, we can also get the Magnemite, and a Cubone, which, I thought we had a Marowak, because I thought Marowak's just such a cool Pokemon, but we don't. And the one in a bajillion chance of getting the Aerodactyl is happening. So, yeah, I just have to make, like, six of these, and hope we get the Pokemon that we're looking for. Okay. So, I mean, some of these come together in a really nice way, but on that, it's just, it's just terrible. So, um, we can use up all these. So, yeah, like, one, two, so very good is three, so we do something like that. And then we can start using, like, say I've, I've almost maxed out of all these. I need to I need to find another way of using up these resources, you know? That's the best luck I've had all day. I made one Watt Risotto. We didn't have Electabuzz in the Pokedex, which I kind of spaced out on. But yeah, we had that, we got that, and then we also got the Pikachu. So the double gave us both the Pokemon that we wanted. Instead of like a double Electabuzz troll or a Pikachu troll or something. Then in theory, we could use that Electabuzz to roll into the Pikachu to turn into a Raichu. So I mean, that's like three Pokedex slots right there. Um, the Grey Porridge, just, just been spamming that. We got a Cubone. Alright, cool. We got an Onix. We can use that for the Geodude, I guess. That's why I made the gold, because like we're just filling in things, and then things will happen, maybe. And... Clefairy, right? Oh, I also didn't check the Onyx, so it didn't get rid of the other one. Nope, Cubone. Okay, we're gonna be here for a while, once again. <laughs> I finally did it, kind of, almost. But I, I realized I made some mistakes, guys, along the way. And anyone that's tried to complete the Pokedex, they might have realized a mistake, or maybe these words of advice will save you, because for some reason, 
For some reason, the people at Game Freak thought it'd be a funny joke to make Jinx the rarest Pokemon in the game next to Mr. Mon. 3.3% chance on the brain food because there's no special psychic recipe for the brain food. And, and then when you start to break it down to some of the other ones, oh, we got the red stew. Well, the special red stew is only going to be 3.59%. So Jinx is like a 1 in 25 plus Pokemon, no matter how you look at it. And then if you go into the Mulligan stew, it's going to be 3.3% anyways. So what I decided to do was just just scattershot it, you know? Shotgun approach. Hit everything at once with, with the special stew. Because you look at that, that looks big and scary, you know? There's not, you're not going to get the Pokemon you want. Wrong. I actually filled up a lot of my missing places just because I said, screw it, what's the point of doing the uh, Psychic Recipe if Jinx is so low when I could get a, a shot at all these other Pokemon? I got my Tangela, got my Scyther, got my um, Aerodactyl. I need one more Eevee, so that's all I need right now. I, I think I have every single other Pokemon ready to evolve to fill out this dex, and I got duplicates. I got ones that, you know, help me out with the living dex. I got ones that would also just be a high level. I made a ton of mulligan gold cooking pots. And in that, Jinx was there. Now, the irony being that I ended up getting Jinx in the red because I was going for red to get Eevee because I already got everything except for Jinx. So I was going for Eevee. I was like, wait, if I go for Eevee plus Jinx, GG, and we got it. So now, I think we're almost there. I... Uh, now, and now this is where things become absolute madness, because I don't remember every single Pokemon I need to evolve, and also, like, how we're going to have the correct amount of fodder Pokemon to get them to evolve, but if we do new, we can see we're looking pretty good right now, so, Charmander, we, I know I have a better level Charmander, I mean, jeez, look at all this, also I was doing some, uh, normal type recipes, special normal type recipes to get the, uh, to get the the Eevee, and sorry if I'm going to say uh for the, for a lot. I've been playing for I lost track of hours. The last time I was recording, the sun was up, and I've been playing almost nonstop, and the sun's back up. Huh. Okay. That's the absolute state right now, and training. So we might as well go over training now while I'm sorting through all this stuff and. Hopefully we can just scrape together enough to make it happen. We got a lot of spares, but some of them are low level, some of them aren't low level. Uh, there's a Ponyta, we need the Rapidash. I mean, what happens if we take that, we go to level up. It's level 7, so... Oh man, yeah, there's also some low levels that aren't going to make this fun, are they? But then we did, like, we did get some high level stuff in there, so I'm guessing that's going to be enough for the Ponyta. I don't even know what level it evolves. It could have been 28 for all I know, but Rapidash feels like a higher level Pokemon than 28, right? No one's cared about Rapidash for years. I'm sorry. But I mean, the, the shiny is cool. Like, when I saw the Ponytail, I'm like, if I get one Pokemon shiny, I want it to be the Rapidash. But it wasn't. And now I'm going to get a ton of comments saying, Felicify, you don't know anything about Pokemon. Rapidash evolves, or Ponytail evolves at this level. If I cared enough to go on Bulbapedia, I could do that too. But we're not there yet. Uh, yeah, so we get the Rapidash. There's our Voltorb. Look at that. Look at the level of that mofo. Uh, we got duplicate Magnemites. Mm, that's... The levels are so... Unfun. Wow, we also... We got a lot of just, like, random crazy stuff over here. Look at this level 88 Cubone. I don't... I... I have... I can't... Like, it's impossible to... Unless... Yeah, unless you have, like, some kind of special mental gift. You cannot, like, just look at all this and then plot out the Im immediate best path to success. So, I got a spare Pikachu at some point, and that was with the Bulbasaur. So, that's level 81 Pikachu. What was the other Pikachu I ended up getting? That was a level 52. The level 52 is going to be easier to evolve than the level 81. I feel like we're definitely going to need the level 81 to evolve a level 96. Look at that! Just barely clutching it out, and now we have a really strong Electrode. That's neat. Another one that'd be cool is, like, getting the Voltorb. A blue Voltorb! Seems plain. Plain. Seems bland. It's not like you got some interesting shading and effects and some cool stuff going on right there. No, it's just going to be blue and white. A very basic color palette, but I mean, the shiny of it, it's different. It's so different. That's what makes it cool. All right. There we go. Um, Let's go and give ourselves that Raichu. I don't remember if I picked up another Electabuzz, but I don't care. Uh, that's that's a little over-leveled. We got some extra Venonats. Uh, can we piece that together? All these cube. I'm like, I'm like so worried. I'm gonna get rid of something I don't want to. So let's just take some of these lower level stuff. Yeah. And then we're gonna throw you over here. That works. 
Oh, uh, I probably don't want to get rid of those, that Venonat though. Now that I'm thinking about it, it's like, oh, now I can't get rid of this guy. Because he's going to be my living dex. I need Cubone just in case I'm evolving like some ground type or something. So, yeah, and I don't have a lot of electric types either. Well, the, the level 94 Dratini, that's rare. And that gives me a lot of stats. And I think we'll take it. Because that was the good... Like, that's another amazing thing about doing all the mulligan. That I made so many high-level mulligan stews. Oh, and we also had a spare Venonat, so I'll just keep that in mind. But I made so many high-level mulligan stew, that now I have a lot of high-level Pokemon that I can just randomly use. Good to go. And I, as I spare the Venonat for living decks, I throw away the Dratini. Even though it, it's not super difficult to get Dratini if you just make tons of blue soda. So I can just do high level blue soda and go for some other Pokemon. But hey, there's our Raichu. That's cool. Actually, the uh, shiny Pikachu must look pretty sick in, sick in this game. Like, I think it might stand out enough to look cool. Alright, so where's our Charmander? Where's that little guy that we're going to try to get up a lot of levels here real quick? There you are. So, oh, he was level 6 anyways. Doesn't matter. Level 48 Magmar, and that's going to be a level 31. See, that's pushing us to level 30, 34, which is almost perfect, because it's going to be level 36 for that evolution. I'm just I'm just shotgunning everything, guys. Oh, we got that Caterpie. Caterpie evolves at a very low level, so we'll be safe right there. We got the Zubat, so we need the Golbat, the Ekans. Am I missing a Grimer? I think the last Pokemon missing is a Grimer, because I had the low 100, and I can't do anything about that. I don't think I got another Grimer. So I'm missing one Eevee, and I'm missing a Grimer. And I think that's it. And the sad thing is I've ended up with a ton of Eevees when, I, when playing this game. I just didn't... I thought it was random or the color of Pokemon you used. I didn't know that was stat-based. So that hurts my feelings. But yeah, so... Level 73 Tentacool. That's gonna be... Actually, that's barely even over-leveled. Cool, I'll take that. Uh, yeah. And then I need to make sure I'm evolving my shiny Zubat. Because that's a thing. And did I get another shiny at some point? I wasn't recording. I might have gotten another shiny at some point. I just wasn't paying attention or didn't care. Hey, the shiny charge on this game doesn't look that cool because it's not a black. It's more of a purplish color. So I was like, oh, that'd be cool if I had like a shiny Charmander. Just anything. Anything's cool. So yeah, it's all level 67 Zubat. Give it the level 46 Zubat. Boom. Look at that. I'm going to evolve it. Now I got to double check. There's the one. There's the goodie. That's where things are okay. Yeah, the silver cooking pot. It was an interesting gamble. And it kind of led to some to some quick evolutions. The Zubat in this game is... It doesn't even feel like a Pokemon. It feels like something horrific. Somehow that's less horrific. I don't know, just the no eyes and then like how the mouth is extruded. It's a little, little interesting. Level 66 Nidoran. Wow. Uh, we don't feed it the level. Let's do this the other way around. Let's swap this one around. So we got the level 66 down here. Going to get the level 91. That way we get, like, close to level 100 Nidoking. So that's going to be Nidorino. Check. I might feed it a high... Was that Rattata high level? Or is that just a Pleb Rattata? I don't know. I've ended up with a lot of Pokemon today. My brain is shot. Now I'm just going to ramble here for the next 15 minutes. As we do this. Because that's what today's video is about, guys. And if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. I am... That's the sign, guys. That's how you know I've lost my right. I was about to say, you now if you don't like it, you could have clicked off this video at any time, but you chose to stay. You chose to stay because you got nothing better to do. That is how sad your life is right now. That you have to, like, that I am besting you by just randomly doing this. Just, yep, I, I, I am now grinding through the entire Pokedex and effectively one go because I have nothing better to do. And then you are reciprocating that by, in return, having nothing better to do. Maybe you're playing the game, but if you're playing the game and you need to listen to someone else ramble about how they're playing the game, might be in a, might be in a worse position. Just saying. Boy, that Metapod, it looks like a Tetris piece. That would be an interesting shiny. Isn't it gold? That'd be an interesting shiny. Uh, level 98 Paris, so you're a little too high level. These are my good Bulbasaurs. Level 78 Execute. We might need those for Psychic types. Hmm. There's our Geodude we need to level. Rhyhorn. He can be used for Geodude. Um. Let's... Oh, I was about to say. Can this level 4 Cubone? Because it's a rare Pokemon. Push us over the edge. Alright, we're since the, the Metapod is low level, we can get away by just feeding it low levels as well. So yeah, there's all these a little far-fetched. Nice. 
the absolute state of Pokemon Quest. All right, now we got a Butterfree. Butterfree's cool. A lot of things are cool. What isn't cool is me missing two Pokemon, even after all this. And I've like I've just sat there just looking at my at the Pokedex so many times. I feel like I I know what I still need to add to the Pokedex just on sheer heart. Uh, Venonat, we need to evolve this bad boy. So that's level 75, Venonat. Uh, you. Ooh, level 50. That should be perfect. Yeah. There you go. Man, I'm just so disappointed. Like, what I did to myself is unforgivable. The Oddish needs to evolve. The Growlithe needs to evolve. So, I mean, we're running out of high-level fodder Pokemon, and that's worrying me. Kind of. But we have to go for some other ones as well, like for, for the, the extra Eevees and whatnot. So, that's not the worst. It's our shiny gold bat. We can't, can't use him for anything. Uh, put in Geodude. Rhyhorn. Nice. We have this level 3 Diggle. Oh, we can use the Cubone. See? That's that's why we didn't get rid of those Cubones, guys. Because we can use it to help out with the Geodude. Now, I wonder what if this level 4 Diglett gives us anything. The level 4 Diglett with a level 12 Jigglypuff? We might be onto something. Yeah. Graveler. Graveler looks interesting. Seems like some kind of Mayan depiction of a Graveler on a rock. Oh, level 86 Onyx. That's a lot of stats. I'll take it. Because Onyx is a good rarity. And Cubone being the special rarity means it's going to help us out with more leveling if we if we choose to use it. I've seen Golem a lot, though. We see Golem as, as one of the bosses for Happenstance Island. Boom. There you are. Actually, has depth. Has 3D. Looks like a Minecraft block when you do like one of those 3D textures. Because I used to run 3D textures on Minecraft, and that was actually pretty cool. Growlithe. Um... I think I have a low-level Magmar that I picked up recently. Ah, uh, let's say, can you be a special rare Pokemon that gives me enough stats? Uh. Uh. It doesn't even evolve at level 34. I'm gonna look this one up before I make a, a terrible mistake. Growlithe. Quest. Look at that, I don't even have anything on screen. I'm just, just doing this myself. Level 36. Aha! So I guess any Pokemon that would evolve through a stone is level 36 by default. Hmm. Hmm. What high levels do I have that I can use for this? I guess I guess we gotta go back through the archive now. Now we gotta go back through all these like other crazy Pokemon. Like we have level 82 Star You. We don't even need to add anything else to this. Uh why don't we get rid of you? And you. And you. Perfect. It was. It was meant to be all along. All right. So yeah, fortunately we have that helping us out. And Arcanine is a pretty sick looking Pokemon. Yeah? 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 Check it out. That's cool. Got, got a Voxel Doggo. GG. Um, don't have the Parasect. Despite having tons of Paris. Uh, I'll just use the Paris for the Parasect. Level, I'm about to say that better be level 100, but it ain't. What? what kind of scam is this? Oh my goodness, I hate, I hate getting scammed that hard. Oh, it's just not going to fill it in. It's just not going to give it to me. I was getting confused with the random sh shiny star I picked up not too long ago. Cool, cool. So I think I have a level 100 living dex Paris now, because I think I randomly got level 100 at some point while I was going for grass Pokemon. That was freaky looking. Wow, we have almost doubled. Just th through evolution, I've almost doubled the amount of time in this video. Huh. Yeah, this is this is getting tricky now. This is getting tricky, because I, ha I had commentary. I think my commentary was pretty moderate at best. Not super mediocre for a good amount of time. But now, this is where this is where I pride myself, guys. When it comes... Ooh, ooh, look at all this. Look at all these high levels. Oh, this is what's going to save us. I could, I could, I don't need to use that for the Oddish just yet, though. So let's take the, not the little, oh, see, now when I start getting into the archives, that's where things go bad, but take this level 87 star you, not our shiny bell sprout, and that's going to give us one level, then we can go into that. So what I was talking about was dead air. I hate dead air. That whenever I'm watching Let's Plays, I think, like, a ton of Poketubers are guilty of dead air, and I don't know, like, how people enjoy their content when it's just like, oh, he's such a good Let's Player, and I'll watch in like five minutes of it. It's like, 
This is boring. I'd rather I'd rather fill with nonsense because then that's its own special form of entertainment. Some dude loses his mind playing Pokemon Quest. I feel can be more can be valued as more entertaining than someone that just like pauses frequently. And tr that's why I if I if I feel myself pause, I'm not gonna let it happen. I'm gonna commentary because that's what commentary is about. And I can talk about this game because I've been talking about this game. But my goodness, there's only so much you can talk about and fill in with. I don't even know how long this video has gone. Like I, I said it in the beginning, it was like 40 minutes. This could just go an hour. But this is kind of the video that you'd expect to be an hour. You're completing the Pokedex and you see like a 57 minute timestamp, and then you go, yeah. That's it. You go, yeah. And that was not that was not dead air. That was dramatic pause, as though your reaction would just be, yeah. See? It works. So that's gonna give us the executor, which we don't have. I mean. I'm surprised I didn't just pick up an executor. All these Pokemon were already sitting here, or Pokemon I've obtained multiple times. That is interesting. They, they had a couple of ways of doing the executor. They could have done all the faces in front like that, or they could have just like slapped a face at a 90 degree angle on each side. Level 9 shelter. Alright, what Pokemon... What kind of Pokemon are you? Ooh, this, this Clefairy is going to need a lot of levels, and... Oh, I was about to say, I don't think I have the Pokemon to do it. Never mind. Can we? Oh, look at all you. Oh, that, that seal, though. All right, that seal's getting this Goldeen. That's going to skyrocket the stats. Clefairy's going to be level 36 because of Moonstone, isn't it? Let's check it out. Maybe maybe it's an earlier evolution. Maybe it is that level 30. Yeah, game. You're going to be nice, right? Dang. That's, that's not that's not nice. Um... I know that's a high-level Pidgey I don't want to get rid of. That's a high-level Staryu that we might have to get rid of. Ooh, that's a level 100 Mouth. Meowth not getting it. Yeah, so now, now we're in, like, level 100 Living Dex territory or high-level Living Dex territory. Can't can't get rid of that. Oh, actually, that was newest first. Yeah. Is, these are... Oh, wait. Do I have two level 100? Oh, I have a level 15 right on. I can drop that. I did that for the video. And as I was... As I was working on this video, I thought, yo, there's that ride-on I made for the video that I could totally use. So I think that's kind of it. And now we're even running out of the water-type Pokemon that I living dexed for. It's not good. Oh, wait, Jigglypuff's very... Oh, wow. When did I get a level 72 Jigglypuff? I don't need to use the level... Oh, well, might need to use that level 72 because I slipped. Because I was like, wait a second, I take these low levels. This level 1, and then this guy... No, nah, it's not. Okay, I have to use the big Jigglypuff. Dang. So, this guy. Going there. Boom. Clefairy. Give me Clefable. I think at some point I randomly got Wigglytuff, just because. But yeah, I had a Clefairy, and I thought, you know what? I'm really going to hate my life if I end up giving this guy back. There we go. Clefable. And I don't think I've checked my daily Pokemon that appears. That'd be nice if it was an Eevee. What was that other Pokemon I said I needed? Grimer. No, oh man, I got a daily Grimer like three days ago. I think I even like showed myself getting it in a video. It's the, just life right now. Okay, so maybe I claim that I even forgot. Okay, so let's check on the Pokedex. Because I have almost everything. Oh, look at all these filled pages. Ekans. We made a lot of progress. Magnemite, Doduo, Grimer, Cubone. Cubone's just been chilling there, Horsey, Eevee, and then two Eeveelutions, and that's it. So, oh, wait, or we could just, wait, that, 142 out of 151, I counted way more than nine missing Pokemon, or way less than nine missing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, maybe not. Because I was like, still nine, what? Come on, game, cut me some slack, just hand me some freebies, I'm dying over here. Oh, I probably also got some pre free PM tickets for making Pokedex progress. So there's the Jinx. Um, Cubone. Oh, sweet. You're a good level Cubone. So we can do that. And then that's what we can use the ride on for. So take this Cubone. Even though I know I have like a lot of other Cubones I can use, I might need them just as high level fodder in general. So we can save the levels. That'd be nice. That's definitely going to give me the... Yeah, that's it. It's definitely going to give me a level up. So we're making progress. Almost there. Cubone level 87. 
I was getting, I'm trying to remember how, I got so many Cubones through the gray, when I was making the gray just to kind of like fill out. I like, I love how the Marowak just flips his bone. Like that's a nice little touch right there. It has that, that unattached 3D aspect to the sprite that really elevates it. And, Doduo. So another thing about Doduo is it's a flying type. Oh. Oh man, I think I'm gonna have to dip into one of my high level flying types. So I have like this level 99 Pidgey. I'm like that's perfect for living decks, but this matters more. I might as well get rid of the Spearow as well because I'm filling up on my decks. Or not my decks, my uh, my space. So that's another crazy thing. To have a living decks, you need to like buy so many box expansions. And then you need to have box expansion on box expansion so you can train them. There's a Dodrio. That is, that is some, that's some intense head bobbing right there. I'll give it to him. Wow. Okay. So numbers, there's our Ekans. Where's our random, oh, let's say where's our random sacrificial. I want to make sure that's not like an accidental good Bulbasaur before we go and toss it. No, it's, that's absolute garbage. Cool. So we can use this Bulbasaur on the Ekans. Yeah. So it's just going to be the freaking Grimer. Level 43. That should definitely be enough to uh, evolve the Ekans. Man, making the living decks is going to be... Like, the living decks is the ultimate pinnacle of this game. Like, completing the decks is something that should have happened. And I'm so bad at completing the decks. The first time I ever completed it... I didn't even do the national decks. First time I just got, like, dex completion shiny stone was Pokemon Sun and Moon. Did it couldn't be bothered in any other game. Also, the Arbok one's funny. It's like, no, that's not Arbok's face. Get it together, game. Uh, Magnemite? Level 7 Magnemite. Uh, wait, we got the seal. Let's see, we, we know this one. Perfect. Don't have any other steel types, but we do have electrics. See, that's like another interesting thing, is there's no dark type first generation po Pokemon, and Magnemite is the only steel one, I believe. And they, they even have, like, the steel type investigation, or they also have, like, the, uh, make steel type buddies. It's like, you want me to get, like, 50 Magnemite just to make a freaking quest? Because it's the only Pokemon that exists in the typing? You're crazy. I hear my dog yawning. I, like, my my dog is, is about to be awoken. Or has awoken from her sub slumber. Because I've been doing this all night. She heard rage. And then knows that that means it's time to get fed. Nice. I don't even care about the Electabuzz. This is more important now. Stats, though. Oh, I want to see the Magneton. I like Magneton. I've always loved Magnemite Magneton. You take me back to the original Magnemite card, love it. Pokemon Snap, love it. Not in love with that as much. It doesn't make Magneton feel as cool. Okay. Okay. So, what does that leave us with? It's not a lot. Oh, also, I need to do one of the Eevees now. So, I got one of the Eevees recently. Where you go? Yeah. Oh, it's a level 10? I've been doing the... Oh, I've been cheaping out, huh? I need to get this EV at level 36. That's gonna suck quite a bit, but um, I have Kangaskhan's, and I guess it's gonna make the leveling all right. So you need Power Charms. Uh, let's go for the Vaporeon. So pa Vaporeon is gonna... Be oh, wait. Yeah, we can. So we'll just put that in there, and I think that that should just give us a straight-up Vaporeon. That's also a really good Power Stone. Is that critical hit damage and critical hit rate? Level 10, level 12, this is garbage. Okay, I'm just, I'm just going to have to give up some of my high-level Pokemon on this one, because I'm, I'm in desperation mode. We are out. We are tapped out. Uh, level 100 Pidgey can just appear. That'll happen. Level 46, cool. So yeah, these slow levels don't really do much of anything for me, do they? That's unfortunate. Oh, there's our level 90 Pidgeot. Is that our Pidgeotto? Okay. So I'm like, yeah, the, the Living Dex is coming together. It's looking close. Here's my Shash. The Shiny Lickitung is like the earliest survivor. Random Gengar. Shiny Doug Trio. So I have my two DLC Pokemon and the Shiny Lickitung. And then Shiny... Bul uh, not Bulbasaur. Squirtle into Blastoise. Huh. Isn't that silly? Alright, you better turn into a Vaporeon. I'm gonna cry. You don't want to make me cry, Eevee. Please don't make me cry. Yeah. There you go. Well, I mean, he hasn't even done anything. I just saw you pop up. I'm like, yeah, that's right. You evolve. Nice. 
All right, so that leaves us with the Flareon. And quick dex check. I think just by seeing how many Pokemon remain, I can figure out which ones I haven't done. Because I feel like I just blasted through a good amount. And if it's two, and that's Flareon and the Grimer. Pokedex. 148. I knew it was going to be one. It's going to make me look like a fool. Where... Okay, there's the Grimer. Horsey! Ah! Well, I mean, Horsey is actually super easy, and I clicked on the wrong thing. Not my team. Need training. So, Horsey is going to be a Staryu level up, because so I've won the high level Staryu, so that's going to just push Horsey into the next dimension, which is nice. And then we can do some cooking, and then we pray for Eevee. And there goes all of our precious ingredients, because we just had to cook for a ton of rare Pokemon. So, horsey. See, that's why I didn't see him. Just hide in that corner over there. But yeah, the Mulligan Stew was pretty powerful. Mulligan Stew was, like, super dope. Boom. Level 1 horsey. Well, you're about to get a boost of strength like you've never thought possible. There's my level 100. So, this is going to be just a nice little 83. And evolve. So, that's good. And then... Grimer. I can't believe we got trolled with the. I'm going to use that level 100 Grimer to turn my whatever Grimer into a muck. And then for the Flareon, I guess I'm going to use like something else. I, I don't even know. Oh, I could just get a high level. I'm going to make Silver Cooking. I'm going to make Silver Cooking for all the normal type Pokemon. And then pray we get an Eevee. It's going to use up all my recipes, but I'm done. I am done, guys. I don't want to do this no more. Uh, Grimer wasn't high odds, though, if I if I remember. Special Recipe doesn't even have Grimer. This is very good at 18%. We can do the we can do the low level Grimer though, so it's all mushrooms. Two red, four gray. Yeah. So we'll do that for Grimer, and that's gonna take five turns to cook. And then the EV, we're we just need to start making this happen, so that's normal type recipe. Didn't even need to check. Cause I've been making this for a long time. Uh, and then I'm also gonna do red. Cause like I've had terrible luck. The the thing says it's Eevee's a one in four chance. I've cooked like twelve of these uh sp special normal types. I haven't even gotten one Eevee. So I'm gonna do a special red. Cause RNG. Praise B. Yeah, let's do that. That'll balance out everything. And then I can't make any more of those. So that looks pretty good. And now I'll see you guys later. I thought I was going to be able to get it all done in one shot. Not there. Bear. Oh, no. I didn't do special. I I made the recipe as though I was going to put in a rainbow matter. And then I didn't. So maybe we'll just get super lucky on the Eevee right there. Dang. Wow. Yeah. Um, if you're having a hard time getting shiny Pokemon, just complete the decks that'll, that'll happen uh the funny thing is i accidentally trained away a shiny i think i've trained like three or four no i've trained more than four shiny. i've i got rid of my shiny machop my shiny geodude my shiny farfetched two shiny abra so yeah I've, I've trained away like five shiny pokemon and i got my shiny farfetched back i got shiny abra during a speed run and now i don't need like i just got my grimer so if I get a second Grimer, that'd be pretty insulting. But at least it's a Bulbasaur. That's pretty neat. So now, the only thing that's left is that last EV. I don't know if it's justice. I don't know if it's if it's you know expected that the last one is EV or whatever. But now the sad thing is I'm out of mushrooms, so I can't even get over for that. I'm out of the ball mushroom, so I can't make the uh, special recipe of three honey and then two ball mushrooms anymore. So it's just gonna be all this, all this, all day. Um. So yeah, that's the recipe I wanted to make. So do one of those and screw it i have 150 pm to oh god that was the biggest mistake of my life i didn't even mean to click yes to 60 pm tickets but maybe that's what it takes to get eevee except no we get a charmander if it got eevee i would have said worth it because that's how you summon an eevee but that was just that was just a poor decision we got a level one Charmander. yeah i think that's about as poor of a decision as any person could make um Let's go for that. We're gonna 
put in all the resources to make this one count. So we got that. Then this is just going to be... No, we can't do that again. That was a mistake. Do one of those. We got a decent amount of rainbow matter to help fill it out, but... Really? Like, this is our life now. I got it. I got the Eevee through the red last time. And I, you could go like if you if you look at when I was uh, trying to do the training, I had so many normal type Pokemon in a row and just no Eevees. It was so painful. Like look at all that. Look at all this. Look at this Farfetch Taurus. All these guys, and then they was spilled over into the next ones. Farfetch Kangaskhan. Farfetch. All that Doduo. Farfetch Chansey. No Eevee from the special normal type recipe. That's just unlucky. And now I gotta go, recharge my battery, run another seven of these things, and then maybe we'll get the Eevee. Maybe. And it was in the silver cooking. We can put this, we're done. We got it. It's over. All right, as long as I don't screw up the Eevee, but I don't see how that's happening. So, what are we doing, boys? Uh, we need to take this Grimer, and I, I made a promise to you. I told you I was gonna take this Grimer, I was gonna feed it the low 100 Grimer, and that actually makes sense for a Grimer, because, uh, actually, would it, nah, let's say, would it be faster for me to hit the level button, and then, like, instead of trying to dig for it? Either way, because it's just a pile of sludge, so we throw sludge into sludge, and now the leveling mechanic actually makes sense. So that's gonna be Grimer. Um, need to make sure I put a, a, an attack stone on the Eevee. Oh, come on. I, I just wasn't mashing fast enough, because I'm too tired to actually hit buttons quickly. Muck, it has been done. That's right, you evolve. You do it. Why does it look like Muck is raising the roof? I know he's doing like that, the hands down pose, like blah, but more like Muck is trying to start a party. I'm also, I'm down for that. All right, so now Eevee. Eevee doesn't get trained yet. Eevee needs to get some fun stuff. Uh, This one. No, let's can't be too safe. Let's go. All right, so that's gonna be all that Attacks Flareon red GG cool, and we have like a random high-level do duo, right? Cool. Oh, wow I was gonna I was gonna auto hit that and I was gonna get really sad I don't even oh if that was my shiny farfetch. I wouldn't even have cared Because we're done that is the Pokedex Complete! Yay! I need to finish the quest. I need to see that that Pokedex. Also, I need to get these Power Stones back because those are some really good Power Stones. What was that? 970 hit healing? Heck yes, I'll take that. We take those. So then, we did things. I wonder how many PM tickets you get. That's a pretty nice one to have. Pretty nice one to have. Now this loading is taking an eternity, but it's okay. Because we did it. Quests. Look at that. Look at that beautiful quest light up. Challenge. Pokedex complete. 150 out of 150. What? Hey, we get 100. Now, okay. I'm actually very upset. I am very upset. Because I didn't check it after the Grimer. Which means, does that mean you can skip one? <laughs> Did I not need to reroll my entire life away on the, on the, um, the Eevee? Does Mew not count? Even though Mew is, like, I could understand if Mew didn't count because Mew was, like, a lot harder to get. But, I mean, Mew's a freaking boss. There's no mystery to Mew. It's like a 5% on the Legendary, which actually still isn't super insane to get. It's, it's not like the original Pokemon games. Now let's just go and get taunted. Watch this one be a Grimer, and watch the other two just be Eevees exclusively. Just because. Wow. All three of the Pokemon that we needed to evolve earlier. Oh yeah, this is the game's victory lap. Oh, that hurts my feelings. I'm not even checking on those. Let's see what we get here. Ow, that hurt my, ow. Why you do that to me, game? Um, yeah, because, like, it's not like in other games where it's like, oh, mythical Pokemon aren't needed for completing the Pokedex. But well, it says 150 out of 150. So does that mean you don't need Mew? That's silly. We got our 100 PM tickets. We have our complete Pokedex, though. And now, 
we're going to see our last Pokemon before I end the video. Thank you guys for watching.